Good evening. It is about 11 p.m. Tuesday, January 5th, and I just got back from my first day back at work after my nine days off from my winter holiday. And, you know, it's, you know, it starts off a little bit iffy, but you just quickly slide right back into the normal routine. So, yeah, pretty smooth transition from holiday to work. Um, in my holidays, I generally sleep when I'm sleepy, wake up when I'm ready to wake up, I eat when I'm hungry, and I don't really care about the clock, I don't turn on my alarm. You know, I didn't have any special appointments or events set up with anyone, so just living chirologically, you know, following whatever my body said to do, and that was fine. You know, I, you know, I slept a normal amount, I didn't oversleep, I woke up you know, relatively regularly compared to my normal working lifestyle, but it is a bit of a change to go back to the clock and back to chronological life. But yeah, this past winter holiday, I did a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of organizing, saw the Star Wars exhibition, saw the Star Wars film, which was pretty good. Um, I got my washing machine delivered and installed and little bits and pieces like that. And I, I, had not set any specific goal for myself, but I did organize a few things around my apartment. Um, three years ago, I had a plan to just clean up everything, throw away lots of things, and just basically refresh my whole living environment. Two years ago, my plan was to build a PC for the first time. Uh, last year, I didn't set any specific goal because I was spending some time troubleshooting some problems with my power unit for my new PC. And then that got sorted out and then I was planning my trip to Canada for my mom's birthday and then you know worrying about you know prior to that renewing my apartment lease after the trip to Canada um, getting my visa sorted out and I didn't really set any specific goal for the year but uh, this year I think it's going to be partly about cleaning up and organizing some more I'm going to dig in my closet and reassess what I've got in storage there because there are a lot of things I can probably throw away and make even more space and just getting things better organized but one reason I want to get things better organized is I'd, I'd like to get a little bit of shelf space for some Star Wars goodies I bought so after the movie I looked around the gift items and souvenir items and I got this one R2D2 BB-8 and this one, Darth Vader, these are actual, you know, plastic models you assemble, but they do not require glue. So they just snap together and they've got all of the parts and components that I have to take off. There's his cape and whatnot. And there is a lot of articulation to these, so you can pose them in different ways. I'll show you. Darth Vader's got a lot of different poses and whatnot you can achieve. And R2-D2 and BB-8 also have some posability. So I haven't built a plastic model since I was in high school. So I figured I'd get something a little bit easier. No glue required, no painting required. I did buy some little snips to make sure the little bits are cut off the ends when I break the plastic pieces free from the, the tray they're in. But that's something I'm going to be working on now and then. Just set up my table over here and assemble R2-D2, BB-8, and Darth Vader. And i got to find a place to put them. I have a few other figures I got, you know, from time to time that I haven't really got set up anywhere. And I think I can make... A display area for that kind of thing. So that might be something new, kind of returning in a way to a, a hobby I haven't done for a long time. So that could be something I do this year. So there might be some different kind of geek update regarding models I assemble. But anyway, I just wanted to wish you all uh, happy the rest of 2016. I hope your holidays went well and you've recovered from whatever you did over the New Year's. And I'll talk to you again later. Bye.